Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you everything that's been added, changed and fixed in the latest Minecraft snapshot and so this is snapshot 24w14 potato of course and there is a complete new dimension in this snapshot along with a new boss many 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 new items but of course the most important part is that this is the poisonous potato update the update everyone has been asking for and so if you like my videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more minecraft update videos in the future and yes this video is a live stream at the same time as well we've already gone through some of the things in the live stream but in this video i try to go through most of the things in this update but i will promise you that i probably won't go through all of the things because this update is just massive we can just open the creative inventory take a look at this tab and you'll see so many new blocks and items and mobs in this singular snapshot i don't know what, what mojang was doing but last week's snapshot was not big enough apparently this week's snapshot had to be even bigger Although you might notice that some of these things are maybe a little strange, but yeah, that's, uh, uh, I'm not quite sure why that is actually. Yeah, let's actually just get into the new update, and to do that, I think we should just create a new world, so we can go step by step into what this update actually means. And this also means we get to see the beautiful main menu screen with the poisonous potato update, and of course, subscribe to me apparently. So let's create a new world in 24w14 potato. There's also an add-on for Minecraft Better Condition to get some new stuff as well. So you can do that as well if you want to see those new things on Minecraft Better Condition. So let's go into the into a new world. And I think that is pretty much all we need. So let's just create a new world and see what happens. So when you join in, everything looks as normal. This is just your normal Minecraft world, normal Minecraft terrain. But you may notice something strange, and that is this. There is always going to be a bonus chest now. And this bonus chest will always contain a poisonous potato plant, along with poisonous potatoes and other things that are related to potatoes. Because, of course, as I mentioned, this is the poisonous potato update. So we have the poisonous potato, and the most important thing is this poisonous potato plant. Because if you hover over it, you can already see that uh, its texture changes to this one with the glasses and the nose. And that is because you can actually wear this item. So you can put it on your head. And there we go. Well, well, well. It looks like you found us. Press page to acknowledge. There we go. Wow, steady on your feet there. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. You also get this advancement over here on closer inspection. Place a, place, place a poisonous potato plant on your head to reveal the truth. And so this poisonous potato plant will actually give you hints and information on how to continue in this latest snapshot. Which is really useful, so let's grab some more potatoes as well, because of course they are very, very important in this uh, update. So, you're probably thinking, what is the deal with this guy? And you will get so many like voice lines from this one uh, plant character, that is just uh, incredible. So they to take a moment to consider my situation. Yeah, there's so much stuff there. But what I think we should do is do something else. So we can get a crafting table and start crafting some things. Because these poisonous potatoes, they stack now to 99. You can craft them into potato eyes, just like this. Also, the new wolves are here. Side, side quest. But yeah, these are potato eyes and they are quite important. They can, you can throw them just like regular eyes of Ender. We've been planning on infiltrating Minecraft for weeks. Oh no. And yeah, they can lead you to certain structures. So in this case, it leads you over to this structure over here. But all we can do is manage it to this April Fool snapshot. Is this an April Fool snapshot? I didn't know that. Also, this looks <laughs> insane. But there we go. Yeah, so this is where it leads you to. One of these uh, ruined potatoes, I think what it's, is what it's called. Or portals, portatoes, something like that. And they will all have one of these pedestals. So that's this block over here. Along with some building blocks. So you'll find Terra de Pom here on the, the floor. There's also these uh, baked potato bricks all around here. And I think there's a few more as well. There's some dirt in this case. But there's also slabs of uh, tater stone. Yes, tater stone also exists. That's this block over here. And some tater stone stairs as well. Uh, but the most important part is this pedestal, because the pedestal is the thing you're gonna, that's going to get you into the new dimension. 
Uh, of course, uh, there's this guy who just talks a lot. I will just be ignoring him through the rest of this video, probably, unless he says something really interesting. So, what we will need here for the pedestal is, again, of course, a poisonous potato, surprisingly. So, if you use the poisonous potato on the pedestal, it activates this, and it gives you a poisonous potato portal. There's going to be lots of peas in this video. But yeah, this is the poisonous potato portal, and this is how you get into the new dimension. Just step into it, and you go into the new dimension, non plus ultra, enter the potato dimension. And there's, uh, well, this is the potato dimension. It looks a little bit like the, the sky dimension, the old sky dimension, or the one that's available in the Aether mod. Um, and yeah, so there's first of all just loads and loads and loads of new blocks. So, of course, here you can also see the Terra de Pom, and below that, Poton. That's also a new block. It's like stone, but then with potato. But Terra de Pom is like dirt but potato. So, most of these are just retextured uh, blocks. There's also these flowers, potato flowers. And you will also notice lots of farms here as well, with, of course, lots and lots of potatoes. If you ever want to find potatoes, you will be able to find them in this dimension. Alright, so... There's also these uh, abandoned mine shafts, which also generate here, and they have the potato planks. But also, for example, these potato pedicules, they're all also there. Let me quickly check if I'm actually recording. Yes, I am. Great. All right. Then let's move on. So, there's also these portals again over here. There's a chest here as well, but these chests don't really have too much interesting things in there, sadly. So, what you will notice is that there is actually five different biomes in this new dimension. So, if you take a look at our F3 screen, we can see we, can, we are currently in the corruption biome. So, this is the corruption biome. And uh, there is a field biome here as well. So, corruption biome has these, like, these trees, these potato trees, which I think they're called potato stem. Yeah, potato fruit. This is potato fruit. This is potato stem. Then there's the potato pedicule as well, and there's potato leaves here as well. So, there's also lots of new blocks here. And that's the corrupted biome. There's also these potato sprouts in the corrupted biome, and just potatoes growing all over as well. So, that's what that biome looks like. Then there's the fields, which I think is one of the more common biomes. So, it's just this one over here. If you just travel over here, this is the fields. And then there's also the wasteland, which has this, like, uh, lots of these block of black potato peels but also yes this is just ancient debris that's also just here in the wasteland along with uh, this block over here which is let's see corrupted peel grass blocks there's also lots of this green uh, liquid green water and it's poisonous as you can see you get the, the poison effect if you enter this water yeah i need to change my shampoo uh, thank you thank you very much and you will also be able to find this new mob, which looks a little bit like a guardian, but it's squished flat, like a flat potato. And it's called a Toxophin Slab. So it's a half block instead of a full block. Feeling quite greasy up here. Okay. And what you also notice is that these mobs can actually stack on top of each other. So there's two on top of each other here. And they can go up to three, four, even five on top of each other. So there we go. They're stacking already. Look at that. If, they, if a lot of them just are close together and they hop on top of each other, then they stack together. That's how these uh, these mobs work. You can see many of the stacks already now. Awesome. <laughs> they look actually quite crazy. Let's see if we can find some of the other biomes, because there's a few more. There's also Potato Village over here, which we'll get to in a second. There's some of these Flotatoes around. So these are just sort of clouds. And this block is actually quite special, this Flotato block, because it works completely differently to any other block in the game. And that is because you can actually place them in mid-air. So if you just look at the air, it places them in front of you, two blocks in front of you, just where you're looking. So that's not how blocks normally work, but that is how the Flotato block works. And there's also one more block related to the Flotato, which is the Flotato. I was guessing it's in here, but no, it's not where you find it currently. So... Yeah, the flotato, flotator is this block over here, and it's quite special because this place is looking rather tragic. Yes, it is. It looks something like this, and if you give it a redstone signal, it will actually move. So let's grab a redstone block and let's put it on top of this uh, flotato, flotator. There we go. Uh, well, it just hit a wall. 
But there we go. It actually moves along all the blocks that are stuck together against it. And it works sort of like a flying machine, but then a very, very smooth one. As you can see right there. So there's the flotator. If you get a redstone signal, it will move all the blocks that are attached to it along. And so you can still stand on top of each other uh, on top of it again e as well. So just like this. And once it hits a block, then it will stop. There we go. Alright, now let's take a look at some more biomes. So there is uh, one other new biome over here behind the village. There's also a shipwreck here as well. The Minecraft pig is looking pretty cheeky. Yeah. So all of the mobs here in this dimension are also retextured to look like poisonous potatoes, like for example these bees. So yeah, right here we have the Arboretum biome, which has just lots and lots and lots of trees. All the different kinds of trees are here from all the different biomes in the regular Minecraft overworld. That is how this biome works. And then if we move over here, we'll see more fields. So more of those potato fields. And then here is also another new biome. So this is the, there we go, around the world in, around the potato in 80 days. I'm sorry, yes. This is the hash biome, the final biome. And now we've got the achievement to visit all the potato biomes. So yeah, that's this biome over here. Completely barren biome. The hash. But that's not all. Let's get back into that village because that is actually quite important. Um, so let's go over to the village and I think, I hope that our potato plant will speak to us again, maybe. So what you will also find in these villages, the potato villages, is a maze, just like this one. You will find villagers, like this guy over here, and they usually trade stuff to poisonous potatoes. But they also can get give you, oh well, you can give them amber gems, which is this block over here. So how do you get the amber gems? Well, it's a block that I haven't explained yet. But if you look around long enough, you should be able to find some ores, hopefully, maybe. Let's go down here. Maybe we can spot some ores somewhere. Yeah, so here we have some copper, actually. So inside of the uh, potato layer, let's actually clear the, the rain. Uh, weather clear. So yeah, as I said before, this is the the potato. Pota po potone, I'm sorry, potone. There we go. And there's potone copper ore. All different kinds of ores are in this potone layer. But there's something else you can find as well. Maybe we can give ourselves some night vision. We can see it easier. So night vision, zero true. Because it should be amber ore here somewhere. There we go. There's some right here. It's not called amber ore, it's called resin ore. But uh, if we give ourselves a, a pickaxe quickly and mine it, let's go into survival, mine this. Okay, it's going very slow. Maybe you need a hoe instead. That would make more sense. There we go. You will get actually uh, this block over here. So that's a toxic resin. And there's also an amethyst geode here. This is what the amethyst geode looks like in this biome. So here you can find uh, poisonous potato blocks and also terra de pom, both of those. And yeah, now he's saying that we should find a, uh, a potato village. There should be a potato village around here somewhere. That's indeed what we'll do in a second. I'm just not entirely sure how you get the amber yet. If any of you know, please let me know in the comments down below how you get amber. Because there's also amber gems and all kinds of things there. But yeah, let's move on. So here we can see a, a potato village, which is what the plant actually wanted us to go to. And this is quite special because first of all, of course, you can see all the different blocks as well. that are made from the potato wood set. So there's the stairs, there's the doors, uh, and there's all kinds of stuff here. Also, these villagers just look amazing. Beautiful. Uh, there's also chests here with some more potato fruit, potato sprouts, just all kinds of items. And also this one, which is potato oil. I have not figured out what this does yet, but you can also get potato oil here. And so, yeah, uh, steal the loot, you do the usual macro stuff. That's what you should do in a village like this. There's some neat stuff around here. Most of it is potato themed, as you might have already expected. But as long as you think potatoes are great, you'll fit right at home in this biome and in this village, of course. 
And now it says throw another one of those potato eyes. Because yes, that is something you should do if you're in this biome. I think we've looked at this village enough for now. Of course, you can check out this snapshot for yourself as well if you want. I definitely recommend checking it out for yourself. Looking through all the amazing new features that Mojang has added in this update. Because there's so much stuff here. Uh, yeah, so this is the, the, the oil. It does pretty much nothing, as far as I can tell. Alright, but yeah, that is the, the, the village, pretty much. Let's take a look at, uh, well, throwing another eye, because that's what uh, our plant actually suggested to us. On the road once again. Yeah, so this is the direction we should be traveling. This time we're looking for a dangerous place. It's not the ship shipwreck. Let's throw a few more and hopefully go in the right direction. There's also this beautiful massive tree over here. Looks beautiful. Yeah, we're still going in the right direction. And that's because we're going over to a boss arena. Yes. There's also a beautiful... Uh, what is it called? Uh, a desert well here, but then in the in the, the hash biome. And there's also these cacti, which are now just uh, th these blocks, which are a uh, graftator uh, with vicious potato on top. So that's what they now look like. And let's continue moving. I think we should be go going in this direction still. Yes. Let's keep moving. And see a little bit more of this world as well. A lot of these fields with fences. All kinds of stuff is here. So if you keep following these eyes for long enough. You will find a boss arena is what I was trying to say. And it, it contains one of the most difficult bosses ever added into the game I think. It'll be a battle against the ultimate potato. That is definitely true. So let's keep moving. That's all the information I have. Are we there yet? Okay, we should go in this direction now apparently. That means we're probably slightly closer. Hopefully. Luckily we're in uh, creative mode. So we can just like uh, spam these. Yep. Okay, this way. We can see more of, the, more of this, uh, this forested biome as well. Which is quite nice. Yeah, still going. All right. See, normally I would cut this part out, but because this is a live stream, I, I can't really. So let's keep moving. You can also try going in uh, spectator mode and just seeing if we can find it. There's also a dungeon here. Let's see if there's any special loot in the chests. Not really, just a lot of more potatoes than usual. There's another village here as well. Right over here. And another abandoned mine shaft right below it. Okay, let's throw another one of those eyes. Okay, this direction apparently. Because I've seen this before, because of course I've also already tried this out. And well, here we go. We are at the boss arena. The potato eye is pointing around here. Yes, definitely true. This is the boss arena. It's based on the, the Bastion Remnant structure. But there is a new boss at the bottom over here. You will see Mega Spud, Potato Lord of the Fright Legion. This is the new boss in the latest Minecraft snapshot, the Poisonous Potato update. Yeah, we are definitely near the right place. We're actually in it already. So, let's see what this boss actually is. I think we're here. I think so too. Looks like some type of Colosseum. Yeah, pretty much. You will find a lot of new blocks here as well. I think you'll need this wooden sword. Yeah, so here this uh, beautiful plant tries to troll you because he says like, use a wooden sword to defeat this guy. Yeah, we get a wooden sword as well. So we can go like ahead and try to attack it. And it works once and we get some uh, corrupted potato peels. But now we can't attack it anymore. It's uh, defending. And that is because, try a critical hit, no. What you actually need to do is defeat the mob that summons in. So in this case it summons in a chicken. If you defeat the chicken, then Mega Spot the clocky contact. The contaminator can be hit again. Just like this. And as you can see it does not a lot of, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Because of course it's a wooden sword. You don't need to use a wooden sword. I probably would not recommend using a wooden sword. But once you do enough damage to the Mega Spot, the Clock Contaminator, yes, his name will change every single time uh, this happens. Then becomes Mega Spot, the Toxic Talon Talus. 
And that is because, yes, you sadly now have to destroy these poisonous potato armadillos. Sadly. But to do this, we'll actually get a potato peeler. Because the potato peeler does more damage to potato mobs. Which will help us a bit in our fight against the Mega Spud. Something else will help us is if we just give ourselves a little bit of strength. So let's do that. Strength. Uh, 30. Uh, no, infinite. 30, true. There we go. And so now it becomes a venomous vagabond. And we have to defeat these zombies. Next, we have Argonit, administrator. Defeat these spiders. There we go. Then we have Spot Scavenger Stray. Because now there's strays all around. Which you have to defeat. And you also notice something else. And that is that the Mega Spot becomes smaller and smaller every time you damage it. Next there's Creeper Kingpin with lots of creepers. Even more. There we go. Then we have Poisonous Piglin Potonate. Piglin Brute. So now it already becomes a lot more difficult because of course these usually have a lot of health and so it'll take a lot of hits to, to die. But that's definitely not it yet because after you hit it a few more times it becomes a Ghastly Ghoul Master. Ghoul Master. And now it summons in Ghosts. So even more tricky to kill. Bit of poison crave that's not big of a, that big of an issue there we go then what we get is plague whale patriarch because now we get these plague whales which you saw before already as well they are they are the elder guardian variant of the what are these called toxifin slabs so these are plague whales and yeah we definitely want to defeat these as well so let's do that here in uh, creative this is not too difficult but in survival this will be uh, insanely difficult and especially the next round will be more difficult first of all because you have to find the, the mega spot it's now very small but then what it will summon in is giants yeah not one many giants look at all of these giants there's so many giants these have a lot of health as well so it will take a long time to kill all these if you don't have strength 30 which you usually don't of course but once you defeat all of those then uh, let me actually get some more room in my inventory to get uh, the loot here. So now I think we can actually kill the Mega Spot. And there we go. We get Potatis, great stuff of the peasant. As a final uh, loot. And what you'll also notice is that all of the mobs in this dimension uh, are able to uh, drop these uh, potato peels. Different uh, colors. You need to follow my instructions very carefully. Okay, thank you uh, Potato Plant. Place potato ish into a composter. Yeah, so this is the, the greatest staff that's ever existed. They will definitely not betray, betray you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So this is what we what we got from our boss. The very, very difficult boss fight. So let's place it into a composter just like our friend tells us to do. So grab a composter, put it in there. I can't believe you fell for that. A good plant. Do as the PPP demands. Yeah, of course, in survival mode, you would just lose your great staff by putting it into a composter. Potatoish really is the ultimate, ultimate staff. But yeah, uh, no longer because we put it into a composter. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's halfway composted into bone meal. Congratulations. Yeah, we just April fooled ourselves. Amazing. Yeah, so also, I made a fool of you. Yeah, you definitely made a fool of me. Definitely. I do have to thank Captain Flapjack for a lot of information on this snapshot. I couldn't have found out many of these things without him. But there we go. Uh, April Fool's completion time, 21 minutes and 6 seconds. Or 7 seconds. So once you defeated this boss, put it, the potato ish into a composter. You get this completion time for the snapshot. Of course, I did it all in creative now. But in survival mode, this would take a whole lot longer, I would expect. But yeah, now we've looked through the, the basic gameplay of this update. Let's look at a few more items in this update. Because there's actually a few more things that I should uh, well, guide you through and s t show you. Because there's so many cool things in this update. So let's go back up into the surface. And let's take a look at some of those. So let's just grab a crafting table. Because we can actually see what kind of items we can craft uh, with the crafting table. And we also will get... Uh, well, let's first take a look at this. So there's lots of items here. First of all, there's a potato refinery, which you can bake, bake with the baked potato bricks. 
and the, the potato refinery it looks something like okay yeah looking up for potato gives you a whole lot of results now uh, <laughs> which is not what happens usually of course so this is the potato refinery here is actually where you can get, get those uh, bottles of oil i'm not entirely sure how you get them but you can probably get them from some sort of potato uh, base item but what is also interesting is the frying table this is the crafting table crafting recipe for the frying table so let's grab that a frying table this is actually just a glorified campfire but it does look quite nice frying pan on top of a frying table but to get make full use of that we'll need something else first i'm not sure if you get yeah there we go we can make a poisonous potato cutter with three potone and one poisonous potato so the poisonous potato cutter is where you'll slice your poisonous potatoes let me quickly get rid of some of the items in our inventory because there's way too much stuff here uh, no, let's not get rid of our potato plant just yet. Alright, so these poisonous potatoes can be cut into uh, poisonous potato slices. And also poisonous potato sticks. And many of these will give you advancements as well. Slice to perfection, a bit undercooked. And yes, these poisonous potato slices do look a bit uh, undercooked. Or the sticks ones actually. Because you can place these inside of the frying pan. No, you can not place them inside of a frying pan. But you can place them there is actually the potatoes. Just like that and we'll turn it to baked potatoes now what you will need to make fries because yeah you can make fries is just a regular furnace so let's do that let's grab a furnace okay, let's grab two and let's put the potato sticks in here and also the potato slices and then grab some coal to smelt them so there we go lots of items here so then there's also a uh, Poisonous potato uh, chest plate and poisonous potatoes. I see what you did there. Very nice. That's just some po poisonous potato armor. Which we can wear just like uh, this. Very nice. Now let's take a look at our fries. So there we have poisonous potato fries and poisonous potato chips as well. A salty snack. And finally some fast food. Amazing. And of course, yes, these are all food items. Very nice. Alright, then there is also the poisonous potato hammer, which you make with a blaze rod and a poisonous potato. And it does knock back 10. So yeah, that's uh, quite nice. I think it's more powerful than uh, potato yeesh. Great stuff of the peasant. Also, our baked potatoes are done. Nice. Let's see if we can find a, a mob to test this on. Mobs are blending in quite well in this uh, biome. But here we go. There's some sheep here. Hello. Bye bye. And again here you can see that uh, these mobs all drop the, uh, the potato peels. So if we get rid of some items and kill another of these sheep. Uh, there we go. You will see we get potato peels. And you get all different kinds of colors from different types of mobs. These are all the different potato peels. So corrupt the potato peels from the boss. Then there's potato peels in all the different colors under the sun. And these can be crafted into blocks of potato peels, which you see all of them over here. That's all of those blocks uh, done already. Let's see what else is there. So let's go back into the crafting table and see what else we can craft currently. So I'm not sure if there's anything more here at the moment. There's the, the flotator, which is crafted just like this. And then there's also the potato battery, which works like a daylight sensor. But what I think we should take a look at first is the hot potato. So potato with a lava bucket gives you a hot potato. Which, yes, as you might expect, the hot potato, if you hold it in your hand and go into survival mode, it of course burns you because it's a hot potato. So throw it to someone else. Alright. Then let's actually take a look at our creative inventory because there's lots of stuff here. We've already covered all of these items over here. You can also make hash browns. That are these over here. I'm so hungry I could eat my shirt. All right, yeah, so these are hash browns. There's a pedestal, potato portal that we've gone through, yes. There's also the big brain, which I have not found out how to get this yet. But this is what it looks like. It's just a small guy with a big brain. Very nice. Uh, then there is also potato of knowledge with 10, 50 and 100. Which, again, not sure how to get them, but they are probably related to the potato brain. Because you get a lot of knowledge. And I think you can also get uh, XP from this. 
I almost died to the hot potato. Let me just throw that out. Whew. Yeah, so you get the experience from this uh, these knowledge potatoes. Uh, then there's also golden poisonous potatoes and enchanted golden poisonous potatoes, which represent, of course, the golden apples. Um, there's also a poisonous politra, which you can also wear. You're also eating your shirt in the meantime while you have that uh, poisonous chest plate on, by the way. So that will break very quickly. Yeah, so if you fly with this poisonous elytra, you will just do this when you land. You will break all kinds of stuff and place down uh, these blocks, which are poisonous mashed potatoes. Which is also quite funny, there are snow layers. Alright, then yes, these we've covered. There is also toxic beam and the lashing potato, where the lashing potato is we use to travel around this biome mainly. So you can use it as a grappling hook. This is just a grappling hook in Minecraft made out of poisonous potatoes. Very, very, very epic to travel around with it. Alright. Then there's a potato peeler that does more damage to potato items. There's a dent which you can also get from the boss battle. There's also a powerful potato which works as a sort of redstone block. And this is what it looks like, powerful potato. Uh, there's also strong roots and weak roots as well. Which look like the, the, the end uh, chorus fruit. And I believe they just spawned in one of the biomes here. Then there's the amber gems and also the block of amber which you can make with the amber gems. That's what these look like, very similar to uh, blocks of gold. There's potato flowers, potato buds which we've seen as well. They, uh, they spawn around some of, uh, some of these biomes. There's all the, the wood blocks from the potato set. Along with the fruit and the pedicule and the sprouts. Then there's all of these different types of blocks. Poison potato or deep slate poison potato or the vicious potato is here as well. Poison path. So that's all of these blocks. Then there's all of the potone blocks as well. With the bricks, the expired baked bricks, the charred bricks, all these spawn in the different biomes. There's the mashed potatoes, poison potato block, compressed poison potato block, double compressed poison potato block, triple compressed poison potato block, and quadruple compressed poison potato block. That's just a mouthful. Quadruple compressed poison potato block. Wow. Then there's also these, which are the poisonous potato head block and poisonous potato head piece. So we can place these down and that's what they look like. Uh, very, very cool. Especially the head piece and you might be wondering, can you wear it on your head? Yes, you can. Uh, there we go. Just like that. You can definitely wear it. That's what the, the, the poisonous head piece here looks like. Alright. We're all, almost through all of the blocks at least. So then there is uh, the bad potato as well, which I don't think we've shown off in this video yet. But the bad potato is pretty much just a regular bat, but then just a poisonous potato. That is what that looks like. And then the other mobs we've already seen already. Then there's all of these potato peels which we've shown and the blocks of potato peels as well. And then finally there's also all of these different paintings. So there are seven different ones with different sizes. So let's place them all down. For this we'll need some sort of large canvas because some of these are actually quite big. I think uh, this over here may work. We have some space over here. So first of all we have uh, this painting which is Tasty Shapes. It's just a poisonous potato. Self-portrait of Mr. Potato. This is what Mr. Potato looks like. Then there is Potato. Which is this flying island potato. Then there is In the Spotlight, which is the nine different potatoes in different color shapes. There is Hot Potato, uh, 4x4, I need a little more space for this somewhere. Here, and there we go. It's the one painting with the skull in Minecraft, but now with a poisonous potato. Then there is This is not a potato, which again we need some space for, and that is what that looks like. This is not a potato. And finally there is an 8x8 painting, if we can actually place it somewhere, that's going to be tough. No, all of these places are not big enough. 8 by 8 is a lot of course. Okay, let's try this again, but let's just fill in a few blocks over here. Then I think we should be able to place it. There we go, just about enough room for this beautiful poisonous potato painting. 
amazing. So those are all the paintings in this update as well. And then I think we've gone through all of the blocks and items here. Of course, I'm not showing you how to get all of them, but that has just not been found out yet and not been explored yet. Of course, I highly recommend you just go through this update yourself and find out how to obtain all of these different blocks and items in the Poisonous Potato update. But anyway, there we go. That is Snapshot 24W Potato A. 24W14 Potato is what I should say, probably. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe!